Now we need to download that safety error manual. Before we uh, look at how we download the PDF version of the care manual, and yes, they have officially finally made one, and it is also editable, so you will be able to type in it, um, and you will have a paperless copy that you can save to your device. With that said, some of us like to have paper copies. Uh, I have sent an email out. Please reach out to me if you want a paper copy, and I can take some down uh, to the elementary building. With that said, because this training was set up at the last minute, I understand some of you may not be able to come in to get one. Uh, so unfortunately, you will have to download this PDF and use this for now. But if you would like a paper copy, I can put one in the school mail to you and you will eventually have one. Uh, for those of you that are able to get a paper copy, um, please get a hold of me. I will also give a couple extra to Dr. Anderson where she could hold on to those that way. If you are having an issue with the computer on the day of the uh, training, you can go ahead and get that from her. With that all said, uh, Safety Care has changed their guidelines and their rules a little bit uh, in the whole situation with COVID. So they are saying that a new manual is not 100% needed. So if you have an old manual and you'd rather follow along with that, that manual is still current, it hasn't changed, you can use that. However, I know for some of us, um, it, it forces us to pay attention and just to keep uh, better engaged if we have that new copy in front of us. So if you don't have a paper copy, uh, you're going to have to download this copy. So again, we're going to click on those three dots, making sure that we're on the Safety Care Manual page, as it says at the top. We'll do the download because, again, opening in a browser, that's just a lot of room for error, and we can forget to do our work. You're dealing with well over 60 pages of writing and so if you don't save it, you're losing a lot of work. So again, this was our manual. So uh, since I downloaded it earlier, I have a, a manual here with the one. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And as we have become accustomed to, that's going to open up. We can see our manuals right here. And again, um, what's really nice about this is the fact that we now ha officially have um, a wireless copy. You can see we're dealing with uh, well over 60 pages, almost 80 pages. I'm not really sure why this is being slow, but it is, so uh, we'll go with it. So I just got to a box that has the gray rectangle inside of it. This is my fill in area. This is where I can type. And yet again, I would right click to do save as or click on the save as icon. Making sure that I know where I'm saving it, I'll be saving it to my desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at the file name that it has. I'll do save. And then as soon as you hit save, um, you don't have to open it up every time to see if it worked. What you can just do is once you hit save, you just scroll down. It's going to save what you did. So if you saved your writing, which we just did, it's going to be there. So this is how you know um, that you have saved your work. This is also how you download the PDF version of the manual so that you can save a copy to your computer and use it as we go through the training. Again, please make sure that as we get into the training that you have your manual as well as your training agreement up and ready to go. That way you can access it at any point during the training.